Ooh, just got my high cap going. Look at her. She's all nice and pretty and all. Look at that. So pretty. Uh, something ain't, something ain't right here. So that basically shows you the importance of putting your leaf spring and making sure that when you put your high kappa back together, you do so correctly. Because if one thing's out of alignment, you can either not shoot at all, have double clicking issues, um, hammer not dropping, hammer not sticking, you can have a ton of issues. And the issue is with this one, is that you just seen in the video, was a leaf spring issue. Very, very simple one to do very easy to come to this or just putting your gun back together and if you're not doing one simple step correctly that's the issue that it can turn into so let's figure out what's going on exactly in this gun um so the first thing we're going to do is if you've never taken one of these apart you need to go ahead and pull this pin out this pin right here will release your housing that's going to hold your hammer spring here and we'll be able to get to the strut and to the leaf spring itself so you're going to go ahead and just pull your whole housing here. Just go ahead and pull it all the way out. And what you will see below is hopefully I can get this light in here for correctly for y'all. Is you will see your strut. It's going to be this little Allen kind of key looking thing. It's going to be the strut. And what's under there, that little silver device, is called your leaf spring. And you normally tend to know when you may have this specific issue is when your leaf spring isn't sitting, sitting in the back of the grip completely flush it'll almost have a kick to it and not just completely all the way down um, sometimes these can be tricky kind of getting out once your hammer is there so just go ahead and squeeze your your safety and just kind of tap it until your hammer comes up then you'll be able to lift up your safety and get to this leaf spring now the leaf spring this it's these are very very sensitive I have another video where I spoke about these before they're just very sensitive to mess with if you know if you don't know what you're doing too much I, I wouldn't suggest doing it um but if you can get a you know an idea i know it's hard to see especially on it you know not being able to focus very well but if you have your you know these three three arms and all you know out, out of whack completely this in the back which is going to be your disconnect this is going to be onto your hammer and this is going to be onto your safety this specific one in the center is the issue for this this one right here is actually was actually lodged up under um, gets stuck up under this hammer and I'll show a picture of it so it'd be right here so if you can see up under that hammer where that this needs to go specifically um, and it does not need to go under it it needs to go in between like kind of just touching the outside of it so when you put these back in you need to ensure that you put it under well, one, you wouldn't be able to close it if you had it on this, on this strut. But lifting up this strut, you need to make sure that this far right, when you're looking at it like that, well, it depends on which way you look. You need to make sure the second to smallest one is on the far right, middle, and then this is going to be for your safety. This one on the far right needs to be on your disconnect. That'll be that little slanted piece towards the right. Yet again, here's a picture of it. And then this center arm needs to be on top of where that goes it's kind of tricky getting in there sometimes but you want it to sit directly on it and not under it under it is what will give you the issue that we just had um, once you have it there make sure you kind of just hold it together and get ready to squeeze it down um, you know just kind of leave a little bit of pressure but not too much pressure and take your hammer spring housing take it back and you're gonna slide that all the way up so once you have your housing your hammer spring housing go back in it's gonna go ahead and push it all the way flush there's gonna be a clip onto the back of your safety if not it'll linger like this so you need it all the way up it'll hold it now this will no longer come out hold it down long enough to slide your pin back in if you have a um, magwell go ahead and put that back on starting with the front first and pulling it back all the way to the back again keeping up with that housing Make sure it's flush. And push your pin 
back in. Make sure it's all the way in. You can take something and just kind of tap it back in. Make sure it's pretty flush onto there. Looks good. Make sure it's operating now. And normally with, you know, something I didn't mention was before I put the magazine in, you can usually tell when something's wrong in that scenario because when you pull your slide back, it'll usually tend to want to lock right back here. And you have to kind of push down on the hammer a little bit for it to go forward. It'll try to stick. So something will act wrong. Uh, and it may even still fire like this with no gases in it. But, you know, sometimes if you're not sure what you're doing or you're trying to learn it, I mean, that's that's a great kind of little thing. It just kind of makes sure it's working, you know, dry first before you have to put a BB in and go out on the field. Um, real simple to do. Uh, but, yeah, man, make sure when you, when you deal with that leaf spring, make sure you're putting it back in there correctly. Um... And again, the reference to the, the picture ad, you can go back and pause if you need to to make sure every, everything's in the right location or you're going to have this issue. And even as fun as it could be to, you know, be wide open with a full auto like that, uh, you really have no control over it when it stops. Um, you can kind of just kind of push the trigger and hope that it stops. Uh, and really, situations like that, you run it like that long enough, you will break something pretty quickly. It ain't going to take long. Um... But yeah, man, if you got anything out of this video, smash that like button. Um, if you need more uh, tips and tricks like this or anything like that, just yell at me. Uh, do what I can for what, what knowledge that I knew, do know to share to y'all. Game on. See y'all in the next one.